matter. Well, we're joined now by Mr. Kenneth Odideka, who is a legal practitioner and also a member of the People's Democratic Party. Morning, I thank you for coming on today. Good morning. Well, Good interestingly, morning. we've seen how uh, both houses deliberated on this matter. What did you, what, what strikes you from both deliberations? First of all, some correction. I was a member of People's Democratic Party. Really? Currently, I don't belong to any political party in Nigeria. You completely left. I'm not a politician. What happened? You've seen it. You've seen the Nigerian politician. Wow. I don't belong to that. I'm not of that ilk. So you're just going to go ahead and face? I've been facing my law practice ever since. Oh, OK. I observe what happens. Whatever little contribution I can make to the society, I make. But I'm not, I don't belong to any political party. OK, that's interesting. All right, tell us then. What strikes you from what's going on? Is it maybe a little bit of background? This is just symptomatic of what the Nigerian political scene actually is. It's all about personal interest. Mm. The, what we, are, we saw two days ago and even continuing today, uh, yesterday and today in River State, is the same thing that happens all over the country. It's just that that one came to a, a, a boiling point. The average Nigerian politician is more interested in what comes to him, what he gets out of the system than what benefits the majority of the other people. And it's not a PDP matter, it's not an ACN matter, it's not a whatever the political party exists, or APC, whatever it is. It is the political system in Nigeria. As created and developed and nurtured by certain elements who have now made it to be the system. Now, back to the uh, uh, River State. The current governor of River State was once in the House of uh, Assembly. Yeah. He was even the Speaker of the House. Then, the governor of River State was uh, Dr. Peter Odeley, who he had been his personal assistant when he was just in medical practice. I don't know how exactly he won the election into that house, whether he really won the election when his boss and mentor was the governor. And thereafter, he became the speaker for eight years. You see, we, what happened in River State, or what is happening in River State, will upset any decent human being. But why is it that we go to create a problem, and then when it starts attacking us, we start lamenting and shouting, woof. Nigerians should actually rise, not the funny thing I hear about uh, uh, Egypt and uh, Syria, is it Syria, what, 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 those yeah. things. But Nigerians should rise and take back their country. The characters that ha have the appellation leader or leaders in Nigeria will not, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm observing, take Nigeria anywhere except downhill. Yesterday, one of my staff people I got, who went somewhere to do some transactions for, for my firm, said they were shooting all over the place. Now, we don't know whether anybody died. I, will like this. I don't know whether anybody died. But these are also human beings. So if anybody died, we just say, oh, the president uh, uh, regress the, uh, the untimely death of Mr. A or Mrs. B. And, life, and their own lives go on because they're protected. How could anybody take that trouble like uh, honorable, at least one of the honorables we have, because most of them are dishonorable, Abiketa Biri, observed. And we saw that uh, video and was hitting another person as he wasn't beating him, he was battering him. That is, if I could kill you, I want to kill you. That was what I saw. The man in white, uh, white face or something, and a red cap, who eventually, I saw in another picture, lying in a hospital bed. They said he was battered first. Who battered? Battered, and he had that energy. He must be Mike Tyson. I'll tell you what happens. When I was in politics, when I was contesting for this uh, gubernatorial thing in Anambra State, on one occasion, somebody advised me that I should go get a, get a gun to fire on my Land Cruiser so there'll be bullet holes and I would say that I was attacked. Wow. That, was an that was a piece of advice from a politician she that does. I should do that to my own car so that I would not say I was attacked. That's, those are the kind of... So you don't see somebody who will... Uh, sympathy? Of course, it will elicit sympathy and then whatever else they, they get from that. I don't know. I don't know what they do in that place called politics in Nigeria. Now, 
the same man who we all saw, this one is not story, battering another person, now went to lie in a hospital bed and say he was battered. If I see any injury on that man's body, I will tell you he inflicted on, it on himself, knowing what I know about Nigerian politicians. And that is, a, what the man did was a crime. He committed a crime. But they say he has got, okay, does he have any immunity? Can he be I, prosecuted? I, I, I'm just telling you right now that what he did, there's no immunity. So what he, he means, he is he a governor? Prosecuted. Is he a deputy governor? Is he president? Is he vice president? He can't be prosecuted. Mm. Well, we is it the immunity? What do you have that should not be uh, attacked? If you're in that uh, chamber, chamber yeah. and you are doing your duty, it's not when you're killing somebody. It's not when you're killing somebody. There's no immunity when you're killing somebody in that, in that, in that chamber. Let, let anybody show me the law that says that. And this is not taking the sides of anybody. I don't even know who is uh, fighting against who. All I know is that there are a lot of dishonorable people who claim the appellation honorable. And they are supposed to be making laws for you and I, for you and me. So in, How can you make laws for us? In spite of all that is going on now, that particular incident should be isolated and treated on its merit as it happened. It means they should actually face the law. Exactly. At least those that we have evidence against. Not, oh, somebody slapped me yesterday. This one, we saw you battering somebody, trying to kill somebody. With one, somebody in the car, this is their new uniform, police uniform, aiding to kill that person too. And that man is still wearing uniform, walking around and answering a policeman. So the thing is this, the, the thing that happened in university, like I said, is symptomatic of what happens in Nigeria, in the political, uh, on our political system. Whether at the presidency, presidential level, Governmental level, you have just a few exceptions. There's no real governance going on in Nigeria. So this move by the National Assembly, by the House of Reps, to take over operations of the State Assembly, what do you think of that? You see, by the, at the time they made that, and that, and that passed that resolution, you know, they are fond of passing mm -hmm. all manner of uh, uh, resolutions. At the time they passed that resolution, it was premature. Because they were sitting, they are sat. So is it possible that it's even that resolution that precipitated they now take over, as I understand, I don't, I don't live in River State. They now take over of the assembly by the military. I don't know. Because as I time they made it, it was, it was not necessary. They were already sitting. This, let me make myself very clear. I do not support undemocratic actions and attitudes. So for five men or women, well, for five people, legislators, to sit down and say they were removing, impeaching the speaker, well, from them, we heard that their forum is even a level for a start. Yeah. And then you now go to the number of people that could actually effect such a, uh, make such a move. So there's no way five people could have effectively removed the speaker. You have a right to sit down in your house, sit down anywhere, and say what you like. But what, how effective, that's why I use the word effective. How effective is that announcement? We have removed the speaker. Who is removed the speaker? Two people, five people? when you have 32 members. So, it's not even impossible, knowing what I know about Nigerian politician, that some people deliberately set up those five people to do this in order to precipitate what is happening now. And uh, I'm not sure which side that could do that. It could be any side. The Nigerian politician, average Nigerian politician is very devious. Right. Let's look at that, this, that action that those five people took. And, of course, generating subsequent reactions from what we've seen so far. Could it be that, uh, because some say from presidents, <laughs> they've seen a similar situation where the minority groups says they've impeached a certain person, they announce it, everybody runs with it, and the next thing that the other group have got to do is to go to court. So maybe in the light of that, they were trying to prevent that kind of situation. Could that have justified any of this reaction so far? In effect, legislators now taking the law into their hands. Your landlord, rather than give you notice to quit, comes and Look at that. tries to remove it, lock your gate. Okay, that's the, <clears throat> the, 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 the one you talked about. So, well, at the moment you say he was not performing his functions, and so the law shall actually take its course. I don't know whether he was elected to use this thing to beat, beat up people. Was that what he was elected to do? But the House of Reps didn't actually focus on this particular one. They decided to focus on how five people... Perhaps that's the bigger issue for them. Could that be? You or see, we don't value life in Nigeria. If we did, 
this should Just be offered. Even the police. Uh, the, hey, there's the, the man. Police. Look at this. Is that not blood? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't mean anything to them anyway. Because life doesn't mean anything to them. For as long as they have their own policemen protecting them. If your landlord, rather than give you the system with which the law requires, now comes to lock your gate and all that. So what you should do is to go to break, to kill your landlord's wife. So as not to remove you. Rather than go to court to do what they're supposed to do. And maybe then, uh, when you win the case, you get your damages. You cannot justify what happened yesterday um, on 9th in, in that assembly. Five people sat. Okay, wait. If you needed to go to court, okay, go to court. But then if, look, if on, if today, and by the way, today is my birthday. I turned 54 years today. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And you see, Nigeria, some 10 years ago in my own state, something like this, something worse happened. My, my then governor was kidnapped. That's Nigeria for you. Anyway, back to River State. Now, they sat and said they had a Moody speaker. Ignore them. Now, even if you had to, after they had been on recess, forever. So what's one more day or two more days? Then you go back to the, uh, Thursday, the 11th of uh, July, and you start sitting. The risk speaker is sitting down. Who removed who? What access, how, how does, uh, how would those five people have access to certain instruments of office? Not just the mace. After the, the manufacturer mace, anyhow, we know that. Do you know Akadi most time one came from, uh, from uh, Obunike? <laughs> so these things happen daily. So it's not just the mace. How would, I don't know their names, the five people, how would they gain access to be able to act effectively, answer, speaker, and uh, whatever the other titles they give to themselves? Okay, so they could have allowed them and gone to the house today or yesterday, and then life would have gone on, rather than maiming and uh, trying to kill people. Oh. And now turning River State into a war zone. But does that mean that it wouldn't have had any legal bearing whatsoever if the rest, is it 26 or 27, if they had just ignored what transpired and then continue your sitting business as usual. You see, no more that for no habit. You can't give what you don't have. Ex nihilo nihilo. Nothing can on illegality. There's nothing. There's no, no basis for that five, for those five people to have said there was a speaker. So there's no, there no other speaker. So the person to ignore, I didn't even say go to court or get it announced. No, no, no. Ignore them. Because it does not exist. Mm. Uh, assuming uh, some people also say that uh, that would have been the same thing to do, but considering uh, the nuances around it, you know, the fact that you never can tell what might happen from, you know, the battle right now is, is alleged to be between the state governor and his former chief of staff, who happens to be at the center. And if they get support from the center, the five people get support from the center, what becomes of the state governor? Unless you're saying that those five people will now get the other 27, or at least a majority of the other 27, is that my, is my master, right? Yeah. The other 27, or a majority of the other 27 to their side, to now reconvene and put into effect what those five have tried to do. There is nowhere on this earth, in Nigeria, going by our constitution, that that so-called so impeachment, so-called, could have held. Whether the chief of staff former chief of staff is now in the center or is even the vice president or is even the president, that could not have happened because it did not exist. It's just like I'm sitting down here and I say, okay, I'm going to Yes, I, I've said what I want to say. But is it effective? So, Governor Peter will now start running health as skelter because the president has said and, that and I've removed him. You don't have to go to court to prove wrong that that action happened. Which action? Which action are we talking about? Do you, do you see any similarities between this situation and what, what transpired in the Governor's Forum? You know, that is one body I don't even like hearing of. It's, it reinforces what I just said before about the selfishness of the Nigerian politician. What is that forum about anyway, if not to protect the direct interests of those elements there, the governors there? They don't do anything for the Nigerians. They all have states they are governing. Let them go and govern their states. If they govern their states properly, we won't have these issues. So what is the governor's forum about? Mm. To make sure that they get more, more allocation from, a, from a, uh, the center, which they will all feature away. Regardless of what they might be about, I'm simply asking about you know, the election issues. You know, we heard about 16 to 19, 19 to 16, 19 being greater than 16, 16 greater than... Do you see any similarities between that? Well, right, right now, because I, what I saw was what they showed us on uh, television. 
So I don't even know who won what, 16, 19. But can you even see the, you know, it's the proximity, the nearness of it? 15, 16, 19. And somebody from the other camp, you know, that's a, a, a governor, in, an ACN governor, says, please remove the president out of this. He's not part of this. See what happened. This, uh, this is not a PDP man this time, uh, because usually a PDP problem. But an ACN governor, a respected one, said, no, this is our problem. And it's what we did. So I don't, I, I, I can't see the relationship between the, that and what happened in the river state. If that was what they wanted to do, they should have at least got uh, out of 32, they should have got, even if it's uh, 15, 15 to, 16, uh, to 17, or 14 to 18. Five people. Okay, the, the, number one, there's no quorum. There's no quorum. Uh, and so it's, and there's it, a certain it doesn't number of people that most, a certain percentage, to third members. If I'm right, I'm not sure. I think the House rule and all that says that and the Constitution. But at least it couldn't have been five people out of 32. Uh, out of 32. So nothing happened. Some people just went to blow hot air, as we, you know, as we say in Nigeria. They went to blow hot air. So do you support? Could things have been different? If, because we understand that across um, opposite the state assembly is the police headquarters. Could things have been house. different if the police commissioner had been removed? Considering the fact that the governor, whose chief security officer, had been complaining about the commissioner for a while. You know, I don't, from what I've read so far and seen so far, I can't really put my finger on that thing that the commission of police has done wrong. He don't like my face. So I'm sorry. I don't work for you. I have a responsibility under the constitution as given to me by my boss, the IG, Inspector General of Police. To do my work here. My work is not to pander to the wishes of the governor or the wishes of even the president in that state. It is to try to ensure that there is peace, law, and order. So, where the actions of even the president will precipitate disorder, I have a responsibility to ensure order, even against the interest.